Hi, Candy family. I am your one and your only lady of lenses. And we are here today with an amazing video. I am super excited to talk to you about pear eyewear and my personally owned DIY toppers that I did. Now, the thing is, we are going to talk a little bit. I'm going to go in detail with everything that I use to make these toppers how I use them, what I think about using the DIY um, <clears throat> the DIY silicone mold. And we're gonna just put everything in the video. If you have any questions, ask below and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. But let's jump right into this video. Okay, so first I wanna talk about the frames that we'll be that's, um, talking about today, which are the Wanda's from Pear Eyewear. Now, when you order from Pear, you have the option of getting toppers for your eyewear through them. And one thing I like, if you look on the side of the Pear Eyewear, we have the two magnets here. They connect the toppers. Now, my very first um, for the Wanda's toppers that I had, and I have a video showing them, I have like this Hawaiian one. I'm gonna take these off and slide these on just to show the ease of taking them on and off when it comes to the toppers. So this is the Hawaiian one. And then I got a um, sunglasses one for the Wanda. So <clears throat> what I did was I was very excited. Anyone that knows me knows I love glasses. So I was just like, oh, something that I could just interchange the toppers and not the glasses i'm all for it so i went and i joined a couple of facebook groups i came over to special facebook group facebook group that were all about the toppers like diy toppers for pear now this was a long time ago i got another video up on my channel that shows um me talking about this silicone mold so i found this amazing lady um she was with a company called island toppers um, it's a little tore up i try to keep it to the best of my abilities but this is what it came in and it's a um, mold and it's by robin and chris from islandtoppers.com and this is how the mold look excuse me as you see some glitter and stuff like that but as you can see close up it's like a, a mold of the around here so we can make the toppers and it's all a silicone mold very sturdy amazing mold i cannot like this is awesome so i went on amazon and i ordered some droppers this was the first one that i ordered because i was like if i'm gonna have to use this the um resin i need to put it in somehow so i got this dropper and i got this resin it's a uv resin and i want to make clear I am not sponsored in any way by any of these products. This is just what I use. So this is a UV resin and I knew I wanted to use a UV resin because I am a quick crafter, which means I want it done quickly. And it's like, listen, I want the fastest results. So the UV I could put under my nail light and that joke is gonna be done. So I didn't have to wait like for a couple of hours or whatever. And then it was a dinner mold. So I was like, that was perfect. It fits right into my, mail, my nail light. So I went to the Dollar Tree. These are some of the toppers that we're gonna talk about first, but let me tell you about the glitters I used. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got about four different packs of these in different colors. These glitters are amazing. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, they're packaged in the little package here like this. And I went and got these little teeny cups that I put them in. So I just add a little bit of this in there and I add just a little glitter and I stir it up and then I use the dropper. But then I saw a nice subscription box, which is in the last video I did about my pear eyewit toppers. It was my surprise unboxing for the Glitter Guy um, glitters. So I knew, I was like, when I saw the subscription box, I said, let's try it just to see how these glitters hold up to my mold. So I was just like, ooh, we could do that, right? <sighs> I'm gonna tell you how that went. These are the first batches that I did. As you can see, they have the shape of the wands. I'm gonna show them to you individually because I didn't finish them. What happened was I noticed I was using too much resin. As you can see, they are super thick. And I'm gonna show you here. I use this dropper so you can imagine how much comes out of this thing. And if you can see along this way, it was like 
too thick because it will actually cover how I look out the glasses, right? So certain parts will be covered that's not supposed to be covered and it's very uneven. So I didn't even bother to put magnets on them because I'm just like, listen, that's not gonna work anywhere and I would never wear these out because they're so wonky. So I tried filing them and it was so hard filing the resin. So I was just like, these are just throwaways. But I kept repeating the same steps, forgetting that I actually brought the smaller droppers. These are what I should have used. I forgot that I actually brought these that can actually go a little bit better inside the mold, right? So I'm just like, man, but here I go. Being the person I am, like maybe I'll try to do it a little slower, all of these toppers. I'm like, I'll try and do it a little slower with the bigger one and it'll come out a little better. I could file, you know, less, right? So as you can see, another thick one that came out, this was the all clear one. And by this time, when I got to this one, I was just like pouring that thing. I got it out the bottom. I was just pouring it around. Still too thick. Um, let's show you this one. The colors turned out very pretty. These are all the wonky ones because you can kind of see here how the resin was here. And trying to file that stuff down, it was terrible. So I just was like, you know what? Forget it. But I wanted to show these ones because I used some of the glitter from the glitter guy. I got four different colors that I showed last time. Look how beautiful. I want to show you like, it's that, that pink just pops. It's so beautiful. And the colors, I think I mixed this one, the one that I showed before. I mixed that one, but you could kind of see the glitter in that one. I kind of mixed the pink and the yellow one. This is a green color. Then I had another one of those cool paints. I think the Glitter Guy glitter is amazing. I mean, look how that is just is really, really beautiful. I think they're worth it. I really, really love using them and working with them. And for the pair I wear, once I did this batch, I realized now, I know it's about 10 wonky ones. You'd be like, look how this looks more like that neon fluorescent. This is amazing. I think these were made, I would have to do a, a correct a correct one. And this color, it kind of gives me like a glow in the dark type situation look. I think I should do one in this for like um, doing the Halloween months and stuff. It just gives off that vibe. I think they're, look at that. That's just like, oh, that's really cute. That's really, it, it reminds me a little bit of the glow lights. And then I did this right here, the brown and a little bit of the white to the bottom. I was trying to be fancy, but I still messed it up. <laughs> so as you can see, that one was still kind of wonky there too. So what I was going to say about that batch, I messed it up after about 10 frames and I was just like, you know what? It has to be a better way, but I was so like wanting to get it done. I wanted to get the video done and I'm just like, man, I'm messing up. So I stepped away. Number one thing in crafting or when you're learning something new and you're hard-headed like me and don't want to watch anything and just figure it out yourself, the best thing to do is walk away. So I walked away, came back the next morning. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this done. But at this time, my daughter was up. So she's like, ma, I want to help. So I'm like, okay, I'll let you mix the glitters. So she picked a lot of the glitters from the Dollar Tree batch because she likes a lot of that color. So we had a pack that we opened and she picked a lot of colors. But these toppers came out correctly. And I'm going to talk about them. Now, I didn't put add any like shine or anything. And they're still, I didn't file them down great. But as you can see, there was a little bit of resin like still here from the UV thing. But I put some, these right here are some um magnets that i got from the dollar uh, no 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 amazon i'm sorry i got these magnets from amazon i'll try to put the link for everything i used in the description box so you guys can kind of know what i used what was the sizing so one time i um used the toppers before and well made a top before and put the magnets inside went up the topper so it kind of went with the uv light but i realized it wasn't as strong so what i ended up doing this time was just curing it and then after putting a little bit of resin on the corners then dropping the magnet in it and putting it back in these turned out stronger now my daughter did this one i didn't worry about the insides so i'm gonna show you that see the inside is kind of 
I didn't worry about it because no one would see that. But this is the outside of it. And I think it turned out pretty okay. So my daughter chose this little star to put here. And we have like that green and pink color. So it's, it's pretty cool. Now, <laughs> it's pretty cool. She did it, so I love it. But um, it has like, as you can see, we just kind of played around with dropping the color in the mold. So we have this one. I'm going to put all of them on because I don't want the video to go too long for you guys. Then we have a blue one. And I realized what I did, you're going to see a lot of repeating colors. I did like four different cups and I mixed, I let her mix them, but we put a little too much because in the little mold, this mold is amazing. You don't even need like a whole lot of resin. So I should have just mixed them like small batches. I made too much. So we had to start just using, I said, instead of mixing way more and we have way more product that's used up, let's just use what we have and get these frames done. So we have that blue. Then I have like this gold looking color, which I really like the gold looking color. I don't know, it's, it gives that fall type just nice. I think it looks really nice and it's not bad on the frame. So I really, really, I, I really can dig this. It gives that off. Oh, that's one of my faves. We also have like, if you can see this one, we had like the purple here, a little bit of the green. Like I said, we were playing around with the colors. So we got like a little green here. Then I used the clear all like around this part in the clear here. Now, one thing I did not like when I used the clear on the corners is that you could definitely see the magnet there. If you look a little close, you can see that magnet. I'm not a big fan of that, but some people will say, you know what? It doesn't matter. Or I can get something like how my daughter put the star here on this one. I could find something that can easily go over here and we can, that could be a done deal. So we have that one. We also have another one here, which gives me that that gold and purple type look. Not bad. We Like I said, we was playing around. So we have a little purple here, gold here. And it still kind of gives me that nice fall feeling. So we have that. We also have, I put, we have the brown, I mean the gold and the purple, but I put a little bit of that pink right here. Not bad, but you know. Then we have an all purple. And with these ones, I would say what I ended up doing with this being very transparent here. I got some, since I was using my nail light, I got my top coat gel polish and I put over the top of this. And I was like, well, maybe it'll make it shiny just like when you do your nails. But um, I don't think the results were really that good. I didn't like that. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to do the rest of them like that. I was just going to keep it regular. So I didn't put anything, any like finishes on the other ones. Just kept it like that. And this one, because the shine, you can see it here and there, but it's still a little wonky. But I personally like the purple here. And if you're viewing me from far away hey we're not close up like this you can't see all the imperfections in these toppers so um <clears throat> then we have this one here which is a little more colorful but as you can see we use all of the different colors again that i already well my daughter already mixed up so we could have just used it out but i like these one it kind of gives me like a watercolory type feel and i think these are really really cute so i i vouch for these ones too two more here um here we go so this is another one that's a little colorful a little different from the one prior because this one we have a little more bold colors just going throughout you know and i really these are another one of my faves i like too from out of the batch that we did and then last but not least we have this one and i will honestly say that i like this one too so one thing I wanted to talk just a couple of, about a couple of things that I've learned with these batches of toppers that I made. For one, you have to have the right droppers, the right size. You want the smallest one. Now, it is time consuming because like for me, it took when I was trying to work fast with the big dropper, as you can see, I worked fast. I pushed out a lot, but they were they were not right. They were not right. And I did not have time for the filing. So I lost that batch of toppers. But when I switched with the smaller one, thought about it, and it turned out really good. I think these turn out well. Um, what I would say is that 
Be careful with the amount of resin that you use when you're mixing. You don't need much, so don't mix too much because that's why I ended up with so many different colors. Well, like, I think it's four or five colors, but I ended up with so many different toppers with the same colors because I mixed a little too much resin. So do them in very small batches and mix them and kind of get a guess of how much you need so therefore you can kind of go back and just use that right amount. As I said before, I am not sponsored by any of the products, but I would say that I I scouted Amazon. This resin came up as far as the UV resin, and it is a very good product. I really love this product, and I have purchased about two or three more times for the same product, so that shows how much I really like this one. It cures fast. It's clear when you want it to be clear if you're just using it, you know, regular. And I just use them for toppers, so I can't vouch for it for any other, like, um, resin products, you know, when you do that. And like I said, these glitters. I have the set here. This is what came in my subscription box. And I will honestly say these colors are very, very, very cute. I did not use them for the second batch, but I may go back and just do toppers out of these four and then have another video showing the toppers using these because these, oh man, they are beautiful. And I have to find out another way that I can use them because I really love that glitter set. And like I say, if you want to go to the Dollar Tree, the, the it's the Dollar Tree that I got these from. And let's see, it's Crafter Square from the Dollar Tree. These glitters are amazing too. And I really, really think that, you know, I think that the toppers, my second batch turned out pretty good. I want you all to tell me in the comments below <laughs> what you all think about my toppers, what you thought about this video. If you want to see me make a little more toppers, I have some fun ideas for a couple of other things that I wanted to do with the glasses toppers for pair because, um, as I mentioned in another video before, with pair eyewear, the only ones that I really enjoy are the Wanda frames because I think they, they're the only ones that fit my face pretty decent because I'm used to large frames. And I feel like these are the, these give me a little twang, but not too much. And I can kind of deal with it versus the other frames that um, from pair, they're a little smaller for my face. And with me having a bigger face, I think I need a bigger frame or I'm just used to bigger frames. So let me know in the description below what you think about this video. I hope that it was very helpful, very, um, you gain a lot of information from it if you wanted to do your own toppers for pair eyewear. I just wanted to give you guys a look into what I did, how I did it. Just let me know what you think. And as always, I am your one and your only Lady of Lenses, Lady Simone. Come back and see me.